after the Federated May Company merger. What's it all mean for shoppers? Will new competition mean better prices and choices? Dr. Audrey Guskey is an associate professor of marketing in the School of Business at Duquesne University. She joins us this morning on the Sunday Business Page. Audrey, welcome back. Good morning, John. Always great to be here. Well, we love to have your expertise. And, you know, this is such an interesting time. Obviously, we lament the departure of Kaufman's. But are we seeing something good happening with Macy's and now Boscoff's in this area? Well, as a Pittsburgher born and raised, and as Pittsburgh's retail expert, I am mourning the loss of Kaufman's, because to me it's really an end of an era. I grew up with the Gimbel's Kaufman's horns yeah. that at one time were owned by the May Company. And so they had the dynasty and the heritage and the traditions in the Pittsburgh area. To lose Kaufman's, I think, is a big deal for the Pittsburgh area, because we are traditionalists, we are conservative, and a lot of the older citizens prefer shopping at a family-owned, small type of sure. local department store. But what will retailers see when they go in? Will the products be different at Macy's? We know that when Macy's and Kaufman's were competing, right. there were differences. Right. Um, there will be some differences. I think they'll be subtle. And the, for the majority of shoppers, they'll still be seeing a lot of their name brands. And the loyalty will still be there with a lot of the big established designers and, and retail names that we've seen. So in reality, uh, I think Macy's will give it its best shot. Uh, it's trying to become this national department store, uh, which has never happened. We do have pennies. We do have Saks downtown. Uh, but as far as a big department store, national, we've never really seen that. And so we're going to see that with Federated. Are we going to see changes within the stores itself? for example in downtown Pittsburgh uh, better lighting or better arrangements I mean will we notice something different well, when we walk in hopefully there are gonna be some kind of upgrades and upscales as far as the design of the store and hopefully some better merchandise as well um, the service will probably remain the same most of the employees will stay the same and so I think for Pittsburghers we're losing a part of our history which is a sad thing but overall Macy's is a very fine department store great quality merchandise good service good stores excellent reputation so for a lot of Pittsburghers, it's a welcome sight to have them coming into our area. You know, they say they're going to maintain the traditions. Right. Will they? Well, they will at least in the short run. I mean, it, it goes without saying it, anything can change in the long run. The windows um, at Christmas? The windows will stay the same. And I think you always see windows because that's a tradition in most department stores. And in downtown, downtown restaurants up on the, uh, is it the 11th floor? Uh, the TikTok restaurant. Hopefully that, according to what their plans are, they're going to keep that. And I think most of us will still call the clock the Kaufman's clock, even though it's officially now the Macy's clock. Uh, it's not officially the Macy's clock. Not it's always the Kaufman's always, clock. Always, yeah, always. <laughs> Let me ask you about Boscoff's. Mm -hmm. sure. This is a brand new entry into our market. Uh, they don't have a lot of stores here, but they are in some visible locations. Right. I think it's fun and exciting to have Boscov's coming in because to me it's reminiscent of the older department stores such as the Kaufman's Gimbals and Horns. And so, you know, they're family owned, smaller, maybe not the quality merchandise, but they still have excellent service. And I think it gives us an option, another choice as far as shopping. And so, you know, the more variety that we have in shopping, the more competition, the better for consumers because prices will stay low and service will stay good. Uh, Boscoff's also sells appliances and things like that. I yes. mean, they're, they're the old traditional they department are. store. Yeah, they have pretty much everything under their roof. And that's why we called them department stores because they had all of these different departments, appliances, electronics, clothing, all kinds of things, which is fun for uh, shoppers to go there. They're, of course, they have their battle cut out for them because they've got to compete against all of the other discounters. You know, when you look at it, John, I think the key is department stores are losing their grasp on the shoppers because people would rather go to discounters, save money online shopping. And mm -hmm. so there's so many other options and ways consumers can shop and save money. And so I think department stores really have um, their job cut out for them. You know, this past week we heard from the Pittsburgh right. Post-Gazette about their troubles, financial losses, incredible losses, frankly, over right. the last number of years. A lot of it relates to advertising by these department stores. And when you don't have a lot of department stores, you just don't have a lot of advertising. Absolutely. Is that the way it works? Yeah, huge. It, uh, department stores were a huge advertiser, and they're estimating between 200 and $400 million nationally is going to be lost in advertising because of the department stores, uh, you know, with uh, Macy's sort of conglomerate and combining all its advertising under one umbrella. Macy's is spending $1.2 billion, but where they're spending it is mainly TV and magazines. And so the traditional venue that most department stores used, which was newspapers, they're sort of pulling away from that. And so I think it's going to continue to hurt newspapers. And I think it's going to be a huge blow for the Post-Gazette, a huge blow. A huge blow, what's happening here with Boscoff's coming in, frankly, the loss of Kaufman's. Right, right. Uh, you know... A lot of people wonder, well, where are they advertising? You said television. Mm -hmm. Do they use the Internet much? 
Uh, they have a nice website, so you can obviously go online for that. But I think we're going to, it's mainly TV that most of their money is going to be going to, and on uh, magazines as well. So what it's basically suggesting is those weekly specials we used to see at Kaufman's having their midnight special sales. Um, it's going to be more generic. It will be national advertising, which suggests there might not be as many sales and clearances and things. So what, that's bad news for shoppers. I was going to say, this is not good news for consumers. If you, no. do, you don't expect uh, then prices to mellow out here or were there no no big deals I, I don't I expect prices probably to increase uh, a little bit uh, because of Macy's to coming increase up. prices will increase for consumers for shoppers yeah really um, I, I, I think because there's not as much competition they have that option to do that Macy's prices were always a tad higher uh, than Kaufman's and so I think maybe not in the short run but in the long run we're going to see prices going up across the board in, in the department stores and Macy's and I guess there's not much consumers can do I guess you can buy online well, you can buy online, you can go to the discounters, you know, you've got the TJ Maxx's, the Marshall's, uh, even Gabriel's, a lot of options such as that. And I think shoppers are spending their money there. Of course, Walmart is a huge player in the field, too. Right. And a lot of people are buying their things there because they're trying to save money. Dr. Audrey Guskey, thank you so much Always for coming fun. in and giving us an update. Thanks, I know we're going to have you back. Thank you again for being with us. When we return, Allegheny County's Chief Executive, Dan Honorado, will join us to talk about changing political faces and opportunities in Allegheny County. Stick